So today is a pretty interesting day because for what feels like the first time, we've actually had some official comments from someone at Nintendo, in this case, Doug Bowser from Nintendo of America, about the state of the Nintendo Switch, its sales, its possible future for the rest of 2023, as well as even touching on the concept of a Switch successor and what Nintendo's line of thinking might actually be. I think one of the most interesting aspects about these quotes from Doug Bowser that we're going to read in a moment here is that it kind of still leaves a lot of different options on the table, which I think is what we would expect going into comments like these, especially at this juncture where there is nothing real or confirmed about the concept of a next console. Most of us have just been speculating for a long time about it anyways. But... In typical Nintendo fashion, it's both really, really vague, but also kind of paints a bit of a picture and allows you to read in between the lines a little bit and maybe understand some things about where Nintendo might be going with future hardware and whatever plans they might have for the rest of 2023, as well as whatever comes after the current Nintendo Switch. And I also think it's worth noting that these comments could be perceived as both positive or negative, just kind of depending on who you are and what walk of life you come from and all of that stuff. I'm definitely fascinated by what he has to say. And to me, you know, it's, it's tough because it's not trying to be a fence sitter here. I just literally see this as both a confirmation that their next thing might be coming kind of soon and also a confirmation that it might not be coming kind of soon, right? So they could be going either way with what he's saying. And of course, nothing is confirmed and Doug Bowser is for sure not in a position at this stage of 2023 to talk about specifics, right? So he obviously had to be vague because Nintendo is treading a very careful line right now about wanting to keep sales of the Switch strong, hype for Zelda Tears of the Kingdom very, very high, while also potentially planting seeds for a reveal of a new console, if that's even happening soon. But of course, let's say that that isn't happening soon and Nintendo and Doug Bowser knows that it's not right around the corner, then they're still treading a very careful line because how do they say that there's not something new coming soon while still not killing the hype about it, right? Because I think that there's a lot of strong buzz in the air about Nintendo having new hardware soon. I think that could be to their advantage. People are very excited about the idea. People want it. And so if they kind of squash that dream in the eyes of a lot of people and a lot of fans out there, you could argue that maybe that would hurt some of their brand in a way as well. So you know, I'm not a business person in this industry, so I can't say what the right or wrong choice is. What I do feel comfortable saying is I can see the precarious position they're in with how they talk about these things right now in March of 2023. So essentially, Doug Bowser was recently asked about Nintendo's next console and what their plans are for it, when we might see it, what kind of gimmicks or ideas are they thinking about. And I'm going to link the article below that touches on this, the source here, but I'll go ahead and read these two pretty long quotes that he had to say in response to this question, because I do think that they're pretty eye-opening. He says, As we enter the seventh year for the Nintendo Switch, sales are still strong. I think we have a very strong lineup coming. As Mr. Furukawa said recently, we're entering uncharted territory with the platform. It's exciting to see that demand is still there. So nothing to announce on any future console or device, but we are still feeling very bullish about Nintendo Switch. I should be careful about what I personally would like to see in a new Switch, but what I can share is that one of the reasons that even going into year seven, we feel very confident that the Switch can have a strong performance over the next few years, is that it is still truly that unique device that you can play in a variety of ways at home on the go. One of the things we look at always is how we can surprise and delight, how we can introduce new unique ways of playing, that's always in front of our mind. So he's sure saying a lot of very interesting stuff there, right? He's neither really confirming or denying what they're doing. He's talking about the Switch is still valuable, it's still selling well, which is definitely true, even though sales have been slowing down, which was always going to happen. And even the most diehard Nintendo Switch fans who have that tunnel vision that I've referred to in the past, you can't deny it. You can still be strong sales while also still be slowing at the same time. Those things can be true at the exact same time. And it's okay. It's not a negative slight against the Switch. The Switch is an amazing console. It's had a fantastic run. And like he says, I do still think it has a couple of more years left in the tank, right? It kind of brings us back to that same conversation about 
when the Nintendo Switch 2 or next-gen console is finally revealed and released, it's not like the Switch itself is going to die or stop getting support right away. There will probably be, I would say bare minimum, two years of overlap of Switches still being produced, sold, and getting new games into the life of the next console whenever that thing releases, whether it's this year or whether it's in five years. We're going to get that overlap, okay? So... All of us Switch fans out there can, I think, rest easy knowing that the Switch will still get supported even after the new thing comes out. And so he talks about Switch is still selling. We still want to believe it's going to keep selling. He's clearly trying to get that narrative across. And again, I think he's mostly correct. The Switch will still do well for a couple of years. And again, with Zelda right around the corner, I think they have a big focus on making sure that strength in the brand is front and center and that they don't, they don't have, they don't, aid in the consumer losing confidence in the Switch being available and, and having games coming, right? Now, it's curious because he does also say that they have a pretty strong lineup of games. Still, he feels very confident in the lineup that they have coming. And um, I don't know that I believe that. That's where I think some of what he says might be falling apart. And maybe he's just giving that standard PR spin because, again, they can't really say a whole lot about this stuff right now. Because we all know the details, right? We've got the biggest game coming soon with Zelda. A few months after that, we have Pikmin 4, which is going to be a, a decent-sized game and one I'm extremely excited about, but it's not a massive seller. It's not a system mover. And then other than, like, Pokemon DLC later, than it, later in the year, I don't really think that there's anything else, right? Metroid Prime 4 is a complete mystery, and I even recently discussed, I think that game's going to be cross-gen probably next year in 2024. So, other than those games, they don't actually have a strong lineup that we know about. Of course, he might know of games that have yet to be revealed, right? We might get that June Summer Nintendo Direct that reveals a plethora of 2023 games that are going to fill out the back half of the year. That would be very exciting. We all want that to be the case. But as of right now, we don't really know what's going on, so some of it rings a little bit hollow to me. And so, of course, he doesn't say anything specific about a new Switch or a successor Switch or anything. And he even says he needs to be careful about saying what he would like to see in it. And I'm sure that's because whatever that next thing is, he already knows what it is. He already understands Nintendo's game plan and their roadmap for revealing it and marketing it and releasing it and having launch games. You know, even if that's two or three years down the road, you know, I... I always say my predictions could certainly be wrong. And even if this thing is two or three years down the road, I guarantee you that someone in Doug Bowser's position still knows what that roadmap is because I guarantee you Nintendo themselves has that roadmap in place for what they're doing for the current Switch and the next Switch, whether that happens this year, next year, or in four years. They already know the basic skeleton of it at least they know the skeleton of that roadmap and so he can't say what he wants or doesn't want and he can't talk about gimmicks or ideas or games or anything so he very carefully kind of walks around that topic and then he goes on to say something pretty interesting right outside of talking about the strong performance of the switch for the next few few years which might confirm or deny the idea of a new console he also says that they always think of ways to surprise and delight people and new unique ways of playing. That's always front of mind. So that might also tell us something about what Nintendo might be doing soon. So here's the thing. Here's, I think, my big takeaway about all of these things that he's saying and what I think this really could mean. Does this mean that the Switch 2 or the next-gen machine Switch successor, is he saying that it's not actually something we should expect in the near future? Maybe. Yeah, maybe this thing is farther away than I've been predicting and a lot of other people have been predicting as well. Maybe that's the truth and it's actually just kind of far away and he's trying to tell us that without exactly telling us that, right? Like I said earlier, maybe he doesn't want to squash that dream and hurt the hype and buzz around Nintendo having new hardware soon. So it could mean that, but it also could mean that Nintendo's next idea even if it is pretty soon, let's say, might be different than we're thinking. And maybe he's saying it's not a Switch 2 and it's not another hybrid device. When he talks about surprising and delighting people and creating new unique ways to play, he could be planting a seed for everyone to hear that it's not just going to be a more powerful hybrid Switch. I mean, I don't really think that's the case. It seems too obvious for Nintendo to just make a more powerful Switch and change it in some ways to be most successful. But maybe he's telling us 
hold your horses because we're not going to just make another switch. However, if I was to read this as a way that he might be confirming that the next thing is actually coming up kind of soon, he might also be saying when he talks about new unique ways of playing and delighting and surprising people, yes, that could mean something polar opposite from a hybrid switch, but it also might mean exactly a switch to. It could also mean something that we could barely even picture in our minds about how a Switch 2 could come out and be another hybrid kind of device that's more powerful, but that could also do something so radically different or radically new on top of the hybrid concept that it takes it in a different direction. And so it might be this incredibly clever way to extend the life of the Switch family, still be a next-gen successor to the Switch, but also introduce some other kind of new gimmicky thing, right? Some sort of different, you know, online user interface or something different than just what the Joy-Cons are. Different controllers, different online infrastructures, different, you know, a VR headset. I keep joking about the VR headset. People have wanted Nintendo to do VR forever. And, you know, Virtual Boy notwithstanding. And so maybe he's doing that. So it's just tricky. He talked about it. It's interesting to hear some official comments that are just vaguely dancing around the idea. He did not say anything that confirms or denies anything, right? So let's just get that clear. So I think that you could interpret a lot of what he says as either saying the Switch 2 is not coming soon or the Switch 2 is coming soon. He might be saying it's exactly another hybrid device or it's something very different from a hybrid device. So you know, here at the end of the video, maybe it feels like we don't have anything substantial to take away from this, but these are the comments, and I think talking about them and trying to interpret them from a multiple of different angles is the best we can do, right? It would be silly for anyone to, I think, discuss this and come down on one specific answer, because Doug Bowser didn't give us any one specific answer, so I'm just hoping to give you some conversations and some think pieces about the different things this could mean. And I want to think that the next thing is kind of soon. Maybe he's telling us it's far away. I don't know, man. So this is just what I think. Hopefully, this is just a window into what they're doing. And I'm still going to cross my fingers that by the end of this year, we do hear something official about a Nintendo Switch 2.